Hi, this is Matt Hug with ThinkNP, and welcome to Backstage Pass. And today we have with us John Burns of John Burns Design Group. And John, welcome, and thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us, Matt. Well, uh, John, let's just get right into this. So, what kind of work do you do with nonprofits? We do a variety of work at John Burns Design Group with nonprofits. We do branding and identity work. Okay. We do strategy. Mm hmm. We do website design and development. Right. We do a lot of print collateral. We also do a lot of direct mail marketing. Okay, so you, you really cover a wide spectrum. Yes. Uh, and, you, and, and I know that you do a lot of work with nonprofits and you work with for-profits too. That's correct. Well, so um, what got you started in all this? What, what was uh, uh, the, the spark to go out on your own? I think, well not that I think, I know, I was doing corporate work at a full-time agency. Okay. And then I was approached by um, a client of a school and education, and that's where it all started. All right. People would see my work mm -hmm. outside the institution, contact the institution saying, who's doing your work? Right. And it was right. all referral. So, so your work spoke for itself. Correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and I guess literally uh, later, because uh, uh, was that before you did a lot of internet work? Or was it mostly print to begin with? It was mostly print. Yeah, right. Actually, I correct, uh, print and internet. Uh, internet was starting off. Okay, cool. So, yes, I remember the one of the first projects was a, uh, was a website. All right, great, great. And uh, your background uh, before, so you were at an agency, uh, a design agency. That's correct. correct. And then uh, before that, you uh, you came out of school with a design degree? That's correct. I'm a 1993 graduate of the University of the Arts. Ah, in Philadelphia. Yes. Sure. And then uh, upon graduation, I went up to New York and worked for a branding identity firm called Anne's Pat Grossman Portugal. Okay. That's a mouthful. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> right. <laughs> and we did a lot of um, work for corporate clients, mm -hmm. American Express, Texaco, USF&G Insurance. I would say something that was a little bit off cup neat was Little League World Series. Oh, well, that's interesting, sure. Lucite Paint. Yeah. And I think it was a wonderful opportunity for a 22-year-old yeah. to go up to Manhattan working in one of the biggest design firms in the world. Sure. And be working on these brands and or developing brands yeah. for, the, for yeah. this these companies. A lot of responsibility. A lot for of responsibility yeah. and uh, I learned a lot. Right, right. Well, that's cool. Well, yes. so, so what's the biggest difference you find between working with a nonprofit and working with a business, say a corporation? I would say budget. Okay. Budget is always a concern and, and they're concerns for corporate as well, yeah. but more so with nonprofit. Okay. But um, we 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 tackle those challenges, mm -hmm. those challenges, and we work with our client to produce, uh, a, you know, a ten thousand dollar project for fifteen thousand dollars. So we make them look good. Okay. That's and cool. our philosophy is, if if they look good and they become successful with it, it's it, it, it's a win win for both of us. Right. Right, and that's I think that's great for anybody in yes. in business, but particularly working with nonprofits because so folks really see uh, that you're uh, you've you've dedicated uh, yourself to this particular cause. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what describes then in, for the nonprofits? Uh, what's your ideal client? The ideal client it varies because we don't want to be pigeonholed into one particular Yeah, I mean, subject. you do a wide variety of work, right? It makes us more well-rounded. Yeah. We are brought into a client, and if it feels a good fit for the client and for us, mm -hmm. it, it, again, it becomes another win-win because we are, we are then setting ourselves up for the next client. So it sounds like ideal doesn't have so much to do with size. Uh, I mean, to some, to some extent, it might be budget. But uh, but it sounds like it's it's more of a fit between the two of you. I would say yes. Yeah, I think it's a majority of it. It's it's, a, it's, it's having that relationship ah. and sustaining that relationship. We are very lucky, very blessed to get into a nonprofit and stay with them for years. Mm. Okay. Because I know there's a, a private school you do a lot of work with, you've been with for a long time. That's correct. Uh, I know there are other small uh, smaller nonprofits that you've worked with, and then some big ones too. Correct. Um, so in the beginning, how did you find your first few um, clients? What was the, uh, where'd that Again, with from? the institutional client, 
Yeah. It was a referral into an, into the nonprofit world. Okay. And then when you're at this one nonprofit, sometimes people don't stay and they move on. Okay. And one who who is 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 a worker becomes an executive director. Mm -hmm. They'll take you with you. Okay. And then you might keep the old one that you were with. That's or, correct. Or not, right? Depending so on I'm maintaining my old client, my my original client, and then I'm picking up a new client because someone has moved on. Sure. Sure. Now, um, uh, the first clients, you said, well, the initial one was a referral from a corporation. Was somebody like on the board of that nonprofit that brought you in or was no, it? No, it, it was actually an executive director. Oh, okay. An executive director that was actually um, for the institution I worked for, an alum who was seeing this work. Gotcha. And, and that's where it all took off. Yeah, yeah. And it just, the word just spread. Okay, great. So... Um, was there a time when you were just about to say, forget it with nonprofits, this just isn't worth it? Every day. <laughs> All right. No. Um, <laughs> nonprofits are wonderful. We, we, uh, there is times that we, we question everything, I think, when we, when we do work. And, okay. And, and, and there, there is an um, um, uh, a issue that comes comes on board but it's part of the problem solving right. uh, that we that we do um, we are very approachable mm -hmm. regardless of the situation we put out a lot of fires for our clients sure and the people that we work for are people that we became friends with mm -hmm. so i would say yes and no but but the reality is no we love it we love every minute of it of the design there is that one percent where you want to scream but mm. the the 99 percent of course always wins and it's right it's it's a, it's, it's a wonderful right. wonderful thing that we do and uh, and we really really enjoy it well it's like uh i remember we used to say in fundraising you know how uh, what one grumpy donor represents one grumpy donor correct <laughs> right. <laughs> right well said don't over generalize right <laughs> based on on that experience so that's that's good uh so uh, when people start getting into nonprofit work right as opposed to corporate work are there particular things they should look out for is there anything that um uh, makes you say hey you know that uh, I need to treat this differently because they're a nonprofit. It's a good question. I th we approach every client the same with 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 a lot of Q and A, mm -hmm. whether okay. it be corporate or nonprofit. So we bring our process to 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 the to the table. Right. Um, we look at it as a. Um, as an opportunity to 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 grow ourselves, mm -hmm. if we find a problem, if I'm answering yeah. your question no, correctly, I think th the process in general, corporate, nonprofit, or institutional, is still the same. Right. It's right. still the same, but with no but nonprofit, um, there's there's a lot of tangibles on how to meet your audience mm -hmm. and how to get how to get to your audience and how to how to bring in you know whether it be fundraising or or a capital campaign. So there is different variables and different tools that you have to be aware of compared to um, the corporate world. Right. So now you, you brought up a couple interesting things here. First of all, you said you know about the fundraising and cap and campaign. So there's that aspect of working Correct. with nonprofit. But then I imagine there's also uh, getting more clients. Correct. Uh, and so uh, you might say if you're working for like I, I know this private high school you work for, um, getting students in effect clients. Correct. Is a lot of that too. Sure. So. It's 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 what you're what we as designers or as a communications group put into these pieces that the nonprofit is putting money into they want a return on the investment right yeah we again as communicators want to make sure that we 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 focus on that target mm -hmm. that we that we get that roi right it's important to us we're designers and we feel that design is good business right and right. when you have good design and that you have your act together Mm -hmm. It's going to project that just the way we dress ourselves in the morning, the way we present ourselves as a person, the company itself presents themselves that way, and they have an understanding of who they are. Right. Sometimes people lose focus because they're working there and in, in, in a nonprofit. Who are they? Yeah, they get lost in the forest. They get lost <laughs> in the forest. Sometimes yeah. it's, and it's nice to have an outside source to kind of bring them back in. Well, and now that brings me to the other thing you said, which was a lot of Q and A in the beginning. Correct. So, what kind of things are you asking? 
We're asking questions. Well, who are you? What do you okay. want to achieve? Mm, okay. What are your goals? Right. Right. And sometimes they, oh, we want to do this to get this message out. We want to just, you know, we want to send out a direct mail to collect money. But what's our messaging? How do we want to project ourselves? How do we want to communicate ourselves to the end user? What's going to make, bring the value add? So, are there any? Is there a time when you say to them, you know, you're off. You know, it just it doesn't work that way. How do with you bring a, with a grain of salt, <laughs> right? With a little sugar. Yeah, the okay. client is always right. Right, but they're bringing you on board for a reason, mm -hmm. and it's how you approach it, and right. how you talk to them. Right. And again, you're in a partnership, you're in a relationship, and you work with that client, and you understand that client, and that under that client understands you. Yeah. So that so when you establish that trust trust excuse me hmm. trust and that relationship right i think it becomes again another win-win okay so the client does rely on you on what you're bringing to the table right right you can kind of show that you are the expert there absolutely right right so um any infrastructure issues that uh well, i'm thinking like uh, taxes or maintaining a list of your clients or uh computer work or any other behind the scenes stuff that you really love or you really just want to have somebody else do Taxes, you always want to kind of put out the door. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and have somebody deal with it. But right. um, no, there's a lot of things that we just juggle around uh, as, a, as a business, is your question? Yeah, I'm right. Mm -hmm. I think there is, uh, again, it's running a business or running a, a, a firm or a communications firm is, is the same learning process as you are when you're working with a new client. Yeah. Or even with it, I always say with an existing client because you're constantly learning. Mm. Because if you don't, you're done. Yeah. And right. if you don't allow your client to learn or they learn or they evolve, then, and you say, oh, I know this and we can just do this, then you're done. It's always evolving. It's always changing. It's always growing. The same with your business internally, whether it becomes computers, taxes, mm. accounting. We're constantly learning. We're constantly developing. We're, we enjoy every aspect of it or we wouldn't be in business. Right. Right. So, yes. so that so you have to not only like the thing you do, but then all that other stuff has to uh, be attractive to you too. Correct. Right. Uh, so, um, how does uh, uh, your the culture of the organization impact what you do? Is there anything um, uh, like I know you work with a, a high school, with, and that must be a very different culture than working with a uh, health nonprofit, or I know there's a uh, a women's nonprofit you work with. Correct. Um, how do you approach them differently? Absolutely. Okay. Different clients means different personalities. Right. And I pride myself on establishing relationships, knowing the different players in the organization, know what they're looking for, be able to answer their questions, mm -hmm. and again, learning their culture. Okay. And that goes from my institutional schools, private schools, um, to the other nonprofits that are around the women's different women organizations. Right. Um, private clubs, etc. It's it's you have to learn the culture, you have to learn the people, you have to establish trust with those people, mm -hmm. and they you know back and forth, and it becomes a wonderful relationship. And with anything else, you learn those personalities. Yeah, and those personalities become you when yeah. you talk to them. And a lot of the time, it's just being yourself, being true to yourself and honest with yourself that people like you yeah you know it's funny a lot of folks would say well that's just it's like a cliche thing but it really isn't because it is not yeah it, i would say a lot of the work that i get is some of it is just it is establishing the relationship of maybe of who i am or how i talk to people or right. you know ha meeting you matt hug uh, mm. the interviewer it's it's just a relationship that we build upon yeah and there's a trust and there's a likability and addition to that there is a good product right Right. The product stands and the product works. You have to bring that definitely and you to the table. you have that to the table and then it develops and matures into the personalities as well. Right. So is there anything that surprised you working with nonprofits? Is there anything that surprised me? I, it what surprised me is they pay quicker than the corporate. 
Okay. That is surprising. That's really good. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. They've always been on time. Okay. Which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. We all yeah. like to get paid. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It helps to eat. It does. <laughs> and and right. pay the bills. Yeah. I would say that's one one of the things that I, I, that I think about is, is a very strong point. Yeah. Another thing is is the, the nonprofit, if given the opportunity, can be very fun and exciting in regards to... Uh, exploring your creativity mm. and projecting it to the end user, sure, and sure. Um, and bringing people in, and, and that you're stimulated, you're you're not uh, persuading someone, but you're educating a person, right? You're educating the end user, and that's what's important. That's what we're in business to, not to persuade, but to mm -hmm. educate. Right. It's not to make somebody do something they don't want to do or have to do it <laughs> through force, but be right. But to look at it and be involved. Yep. Yeah. And saying this is something important that I believe in, and that's what makes it wonderful. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it wonderful for me and for my business, and it gives us that um, that joyfulness, that, that, that excitement that we're doing something great. Yeah. Well, now, there's one other question I have for you, that because I know you do this, and maybe you can ex speak to why it's good for, for business as well as yourself. Sure. You teach at uh, Moore College of Art. Correct. So why do you do this and what do you get out of it? I mean, I know, yeah, there's a little bit of a paycheck. That's nice, right? But I'm sure that's not why you're doing it. I do it because I love it. I love okay. sharing mm -hmm. what I've learned through my education, through my teachers, through my uh, family. Right. With other people. Okay. Um, the biggest influence in my life is, is, is my brother. Is mm -hmm. my father, is my mother, sure, and also is my wife and my son, and when I can give back to these younger students or to anyone who asks, I need help. Yeah, it's a wonderful feeling. Now, there's also time permitted. There can only so many time, too much time in a day, but sure. But to go down and be able to teach that and teach that at a, at a school or schools where I've also been involved with Philadelphia University. Oh, right, yeah, in the graphic design department. Um, it's not worth the paycheck. It's worth what's seeing and making a difference and that I'm working with the next generation of designers, next generation of communicators, and seeing how they can make a difference in this world, now, whether it be nonprofit, whether it be corporate, whether it be a social message. Mm -hmm. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling that when you're able to connect with someone and make a difference. Now, do you find that keeps you sharp on your business side? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. The, st the youth, the children, the, the students, the children, mm -hmm. the students. Yeah, right, yeah, you're, you're aging yourself. I'm aging myself now. <laughs> but the students, they bring something to the table every day mm. that when I'm down there. And it's a breath of fresh air. Right. It's a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Now, yeah. sometimes they need guidance anymore, but to let them, br to let them think and explore and to, to present them with that, that you are, I think you had this opportunity when you're in school, especially as a, in an art college or design college, Mm. To explore your mind it's a wonderful thing and to take that on into your um, into your profession right it's a great way to go yeah. well cool and be a part of all right well maybe this will inspire a few folks to start getting I out hope so some classes well John this has been great is there anything else that uh, you'd like to uh, uh, tell folks uh, about working with nonprofits as a business No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That's yeah. not a problem. I mean, I'm like, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> I think I've said it all. <laughs> okay. Well, good. That's great. Well, uh, uh, everybody, uh, this has been John Burns uh, on Backstage Pass with Think NP. And John, uh, if people want to get a hold of you uh, or uh, your company, where do they go? They can visit www dot john burns design group dot com that's great hey thank you so much john thanks so much for being with thank us thank you matt all right well everybody this is uh matt hug for think np get out there and do some work <laughs>